Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted a video because I was sick for practically a month. Um, I had a virus that had to run its course, my kids were sick, I was really really sick, um, so hence why there was a long pause in uploading for me, but I am all better, I feel better, finally I am back to my old self, well not fully, I still have a little bit of a ear popping problem. I did have um, a sinus infection as well and pink eye and all of that is still lingering a little bit but I am 95% better. So thank you all for the well wishes. Today we have an Amazon try on haul. I have a few pieces, accessories and just random items that I purchased. So without further ado, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys come back and watch more videos or you can watch some after this video because I have a ton on my channel. I do a lot of Amazon videos if Amazon is your thing. I am an Amazon influencer, FYI. Everything I show you will be linked down below in my description box for your shopping convenience. If you would like to follow me on my other social media platforms, they are also linked down below. Again, thank you for all of the well wishes on Instagram and let's get started with this try on haul. So it is officially spring, so let's start off with some really cute pearl sandals. These are a slide version and I love the fact that they have this little square toe. The pearl detail is so pretty. I do have a pair of Stuart Weitzman sandals with pearls on them. I've owned them for about two years now and even though I've worn them a ton they still look great but they are really pricey so I thought this was a really great affordable option. You're getting the same pearl look um, but for a fraction of the price. I've always had a thing for pearled shoes. I just feel like they look so beautiful on the feet if they're heels, if they're sandals, I just feel like they're so feminine and pretty and a little bit girly. And even if your aesthetic is not really girly, I feel like a pearl sandal just, I don't know, it'll look good with jeans and a t-shirt regardless, you know what I mean? Because that's how I usually wear it um, for more casual everyday looks. It does have a little bit of a heel here. Um, it's not super flat. It does have a little bit of cushion here and it does have this little croc detailing on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. These are in a size 8. These are true to size and just so you know it is a little bit stretchy here at the side. Really comfortable. Love these. I cannot wait to wear these. These would actually look really nice with this outfit that I have. The next pair of shoes I have to show you are from The Drop and I love this brand on Amazon. It is their own brand if I'm not mistaken and this this is what the heeled, not heeled, sorry, the wraparound sandal looks like. It comes in a bunch of different colors. So I read a ton of reviews on this sandal before I purchased it and they all were amazing. They said the sandal was comfortable. It went with so many different outfits. Again, there are multiple color options to choose from. It held up really well. I did see a few reviews with people who have wider feet and they said that these did still fit them comfortably. So just a little FYI, this is what they look like. They do have a little bit of cushion to them. These are in a size 8. These are true to size. I love the way these fit. I'm picturing this with just like casual outfits or dresses, even dress pants if you want to wear this into the office. Like so cute, so comfortable. You can wear this with like a cute little tank dress, wrap this around your ankle, throw on a denim jacket, you know, just a really casual, easy look. These fit so comfortably on my feet. I was really surprised. I just thought they were going to be like a basic sandal even though they look kind of basic, but they just feel really nice. Trust me, these look a lot nicer on your feet than they do right now. I don't know if it's because of this style. It kind of has like this slanted style to it. This little three row detail there. Very pretty. So next up we have this purse which is giving me a coach look for less feel. I love coach. Ever since they revamped their style I think their purses are a lot nicer looking quality wise, aesthetic wise, a lot of options, colors. Um, I feel like coach has really like stepped up their game and their pieces are just their quality pieces and there is something for everyone because they do have a lot of options but they can be pricey so if you don't want to spend the coach money but you want the coach bag look this is a great option it does come in other colors so it is a shoulder bag but you can wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it this way if you like it does have this little pocket in the back it's a really soft faux leather material and then this is what the interior looks like I just have some things in there to show you guys um, so it is pretty spacious it does 
you know, open up a bit. You can fit a ton of items in here, a full-size wallet, makeup, sunglasses. It is pretty spacious, although it looks flat. I mean, it does stretch out. Well, not stretch out, it just opens out, opens up a little bit. So I do really like this one. I love the nude color. I feel like it's a great color for the springtime. So let me show you the items actually in there. So this is Velour Lash Adhesive Glue. This is the best lash glue that I have ever used. I've tried a bunch and this one just seems to be my favorite. Um, I feel like it lasts the longest. Um, so let me just show it to you. It just looks like this. It's clear lash glue. They do sell it um, in the black version. If you want the black lash glue, you can get that because it kind of blends in a little bit more seamlessly. But I am scared to use black um, lash glue because I feel like if I misplace it, then the black gets all over my eyes and ruins my entire makeup look. So for that reason, I like to stick to the clear glue. And then I do have some rings to show you guys. So these are the little boxes that they came in. Um, I'm really not sure how you pronounce this name. Pav Pavoy. Yeah, I'm really not sure how you pronounce their name, but I will say that I do recommend their pieces. I have purchased multiple jewelry pieces from this brand and they just hold up so, so well. Sorry, I probably shouldn't put it on my middle finger. Um, yeah, these pieces from this brand hold up so well. They're gold plated. They just last forever i mean not forever but they last a really really long time i decided to get this croissant ring i have purchased other croissant rings in the past from other sellers and while they're beautiful and they hold up for a decent amount of time they eventually do fade but i'm pretty sure this one will last a long time because honestly the other pieces have lasted such a long time i expect no less from this ring i personally still love the croissant style rings i think they're so cute so i got that ring and then i also got this ring this is in a size 8 and I got it a little bit bigger because I wanted to wear it like on my middle finger so this is what the ring looks like I'll insert pictures because I know it's gonna be a little bit hard to see on camera so it's like a link detail ring and the gold on this one is more of like that Gucci gold where it's a little bit more yellow and a little bit more rustic so if you're not into like shiny gold brighter gold and you like the more antique looking gold then maybe this is the ring for you so I'm just gonna put that on so next up I just got the most random thing these are thigh high really thigh high socks um, they come in a bunch of different colors um, patterns I usually get plus size version socks and stockings just because I feel like they fit me better and I don't feel constricted sometimes I'm in the house in shorts and a t-shirt but then I do get a little bit cold but I don't want to put on you know like lounge pants I want to keep my shorts on but then socks like ankle socks don't really do it for me so I figured this was like the best bet get some thigh high socks that are cute so I got these they're pretty thick material and these are great just to even layer in the winter time like if you don't want to wear tights under your clothes because I know like when I used to work in the city I would layer like stockings underneath or like tights underneath and then my jeans on top and it would be so uncomfortable but because these go pretty high up your leg you can actually just put these on and then put on your jeans and you don't have anything you know too constricting you know what I mean so you're going to be a lot more comfortable in these if you're going to use this as a layering piece but honestly this would be really cute for like costumes or just wearing it with like a mini skirt or something like that for a casual look maybe this and some like white sneakers mini skirt mini dress jean jacket you know something like that but yeah I usually get the plus size for a more comfortable fit and yeah love these no complaints okay now let's talk about what I have on this is a two-piece set I have showed you this style of top last year in multiple colors I think I showed it to you in like white and pink so I decided to actually get this set because it popped up on my suggested um, items page and it's beautiful. I already knew I was going to love this top because, again, I own it in two different colors. So when I saw that they had the skirt to go with it, I was like, yes! I honestly wish it was in a midi length, um, just because I'm more comfortable in midi length skirts. Um, but this one is a mini skirt, but it's not super short. I do feel like it's a pretty decent mini skirt length. But honestly, I really do hope they come out in like a maxi version too, midi version. I think it would be so, so cute. So yeah, love this. Highly recommend it. It does come in a bunch of different colors. I decided to go with something a little bit different and got it in the blue version, but oh my gosh, normally I would gravitate towards white, but I'm like, stop it, get the blue. Um, and I'm glad I did. I think it's really pretty and a little bit different. And I do feel like people will ask you, where did you get this outfit from? Because it is so cute. 
and comfortable pretty nice lightweight material but not like cheap and thin where you can like see through it it's a decent lightweight material so I really like it the skirt is flowy it's comfortable the waistband here is stretchy the back here is adjustable so you can kind of like customize it and tie it to your waist circumference I would definitely grab it now because I do believe as I'm filming this a few colors are sold out I feel like this is something that would sell out really fast but they might also restock it so always check back now if you're looking for a really sexy two-piece set I did post some pictures of this outfit on Instagram and I did have like some reels with this outfit on so it does come in other colors does it come in other colors I don't think it does I actually think it only comes in this color so um Basically, it's a mini skirt, but you can ruche it up and make it as short as you want, as long as you want, because these strings do come undone. So, like, you can pull it all the way down and make it longer if you don't want it, you know, too mini. So, the front is ruched, the back is not, and then the top is really sexy. So, it kind of comes like this. It's an off-the-shoulder top, and then you would just, like tie the strings together in the front to cover yourself I mean you can tie it any way you like so I mean you'll see the pictures and the video up on the screen so that way you can see what I'm talking about so if you're looking for a really cute going out outfit date night outfit birthday outfit like this would be the one to get vacation outfit even like I love it it's stretchy it's comfortable it's true to size love it highly recommend it so me and white dresses are like this me and anything white honestly are like this because I love the color white um, and of course especially in the spring and summertime so I found this dress it's very like boho modest cute girly feminine um, so it can be worn off the shoulder the sleeves are more of like a puff sleeve type of look this is just like one of those pretty summer dresses that you just take pictures in holding flowers you know what i mean um it does come in other colors if you don't like white like i do and it is lined on the inside and the lining is a pretty decent length it's not super short because that aggravates me when the lining just kind of stops like right below your butt cheek like what is the point of aligning then but this one goes down pretty long I love the detail here I think it's really pretty um, and girly and this would make a great maternity dress if you're pregnant because it is flowy at the bottom I like dresses like these because they're really simple so you can wear them casually or you can definitely dress them up with like jewelry heels makeup hair you know what I mean so simple but yet it can be turned into something elegant and fancy this top how cute so it is like a cropped peplum style top it is very busty just FYI they do have different versions of this top in different colors so if you don't like this one you can click on the link and see the other options they have a really cute backless version option um, this one as you can see has a zipper it's fully closed in the back the sleeve is really flowy it is stretchy here at the bottom of the sleeve really cute you can wear this off the shoulder but again it is a little bit on the booby side so if you're comfortable with that then this is the top to get you can tie this into a pretty little bow so depending on your chest size you can either wear these with some like pasties and nipple covers a low cut bra or um, you can wear a tank underneath it if you want if you're not comfortable with it you know showing too much cleavage you can just layer like a little lacy tank or something and then I haven't tried this outfit on together but I saw these pants and I thought they might go well together with some heels or sandals like look how cute these pants are that little like slanted detail is so cute these are really nice pants and they do come in other colors they are a flared style pant they have a nice thickness to them I love these so you don't actually undo these buttons um, there is a reinforced clasp here um, so you don't have to undo these there's actually a zipper at the side here so that's how you would get in and out of these these trousers pants whatever you want to call them are so cute like this would be great for the office but this would also be cute for like going out for the night like this and like a cute crop top and some heels or this with a nice button up white shirt for the office you'll be really professional but you'll also be trendy because of this little detail here I would definitely grab these in multiple colors I'm definitely thinking about getting the khaki version that I saw I think that would be really really cute um, because you know sometimes black is kind of hard to see but the khaki version would look amazing I've been eyeing these for a while and I'm glad I got them because they did not disappoint me at all so if you follow me on Instagram you already know I attempted to do my own nails myself I bought all of the items for it I tried it I am just not that great at it and everyone said it just takes practice so 
I ended up getting them done at the salon because I was like I need to film and these nails look real ratchet right now because it was like my second attempt of you know trying to do them nicely or professionally honestly I didn't expect it to go well the first time like I am so bad at doing my own nails I'm even really bad at painting my own nails like I paint the entire nail my skin everything because I know it just like washes off in the shower and like I don't care so yeah like I was saying I tried I need to practice more but I do like having these things on hand because for those situations where I can't go to the nail salon or I don't want to spend the money I can do them quickly myself and I usually use press-ons for that reason but this one um, will last a little bit longer so I'm just gonna show you some of the items that I bought because a lot of the items I already had and I've showed them to you in previous videos I will link everything down below that I did to get my nails done at home I will insert some footage um, yeah I will link everything down below so you can achieve that look but it does take some practice just FYI you're not going to get it on the first try unless you're like a pro so these are the nails that I got so these are soft gel no file nails and I got these because technically you're supposed to file the inside of the nail and your nail before you apply them but these actually already have like oh my gosh I can't even like pick them up these actually already have like a little rigid filed edge on the inside like it's already pre-done for you and I'm lazy again so that is why I got these um, and I just love the shape the oval shape which is what I have on right now the same shape so I love these they come in a bunch of different sizes and all of that so you can you know fit them to your nail sizes so I got those nails and then this I didn't even use but I thought it would be really nice to have so as you can tell I like designs on my nails so I thought I would get this for when I'm feeling adventurous like these were really inexpensive so I didn't mind so these are just brushes with different you know sizes um, lengths on them so you can like do different designs um, there's multiple there's a bunch in here so so you can click on the link to see all of the you know all of the options and what all of the brushes look like but I thought it would be fun to have and I just liked the packaging so I got that um, these are just alcohol prep pads nothing special like we all know what these are you need them for when you're doing your nails I will actually link the video that I watched um, I don't know who the creator is but I can't remember but I will link her video down below so you can follow her steps because she really gave me hope like that is the only reason why I started buying all of these items because she made me believe in myself and I'm pretty sure I can do it with practice so this is the cuticle remover that I got the Sally Hansen um, aloe formula and it did work really well I do like this stuff I think it's perfect even if you don't do like your own manicures I think it's just nice to like clean up the cuticles and then this is the best cuticle cleaner thingy that I've ever used I don't know the proper name for it but it definitely gets in there and like gets all of that guck out of your nails like it is the best if you're going to get anything out of this video for your nails definitely get this thing because this thing is like amazing I love it and then you need nail prep dehydrator and extra strength primer and this comes in a set of two I mean there's a bunch of stuff you have to initially purchase up front if you are serious about doing your nails at home and then you would also have to purchase one of these like UV lamps and this one is great because you can just charge it and you don't need to have it plugged in so you can literally do your nails anywhere and then you kind of cure one nail at a time you really don't want to be using the ones where you stick your hand in when you're doing one nail at a time because it's really annoying it's not comfortable it might not like cure properly so you kind of need one of these like freestanding ones that do a single nail at a time it comes with the little rest for your hand and the charger and that's pretty much it the very last item I have to show you guys is just this razor set um, this is by the brand joy and it was recommended to me to try out so I did it comes with a bunch of refills so you get eight cartridges and you get the handle and I do like it is it the best one I've ever used no honestly because I have sensitive skin I think that the Walmart version for sensitive skin is actually my favorite I'm a woman I have tried a thousand razors and honestly the Walmart one is my favorite I feel like it does not give me razor bumps but this one honestly it gave me like one or two which is not bad because usually other razors will give me more so this one is not bad I guess this would be my second favorite but the Walmart one is my favorite I will link it down below try it out let me know what you think um, but if you don't have sensitive skin then I think this would be a really great option for you because cost wise it's pretty it's a pretty decent price because you get eight cartridges and you get the little silicone handle thingy so I like it 
So I do like it, I do recommend it, but again, this is probably number two and the Walmart one is my number one razor. Thank you guys for watching. That brings us to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and the well wishes again. And let's get back into the swing of things. I will be posting more videos. I do have another Amazon video that I will be posting soon, a Shein video and a Walmart video. So stay tuned. If you don't wanna miss those videos, you can also turn on the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy spring. Happy spring shopping. Spring cleaning. Um, enjoy the new season upon us. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.